hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how you can deploy a django application on ec2 how you can dockerize that django application and configure jenkins to run the application so first we'll start by deploying our django application on ec2 and let's create uh, our ec2 instance so consider subscribing to my youtube channel uh, for more such informative videos also, uh, you can follow this GitHub repository where I'll be sharing the steps that will be followed in my current video and in my upcoming videos. So without any further ado, let's get started and let's go to Amazon console and we'll search for EC2 instance. Let's launch an EC2 instance quickly and then we'll uh, move on from here by deploying a Django application. So let's call it Django server. We keep the default uh, AMI, Amazon Linux 2023, instance type as well. And for key pair, you can create a new key pair. Let's call it Django key pair. And we'll click on create key pair. So it will download the key pair in your local. Then you can create a security group as well. Okay, so now we have to... Uh, we have selected create a security group. So it will create a new security group for us. Next thing is we are going to keep everything as default and we will click on launch instance. Okay, so our instance is launched successfully. Uh, we'll go over here and we'll check for it. So I think it is getting launched. Okay. So, so it says pending. So let's wait. Okay, so our instance has started running. So we will select and we'll click on connect. And then we'll connect it from here itself. We'll click on connect. And from here only, we are going to use our instance and we are going to do all the uh, installation and the uh, deployment for a Django application. So a Django application is present at this particular location. So what we can do is, uh, so first thing in order to get the Django application by using GitHub, we need to have Git installed. So let's install Git on our EC2 instance. So first of all, let's give sudo yum update minus y command. So we are going to use this command in order to update any dependencies for the yum installer. And then yum is a package manager so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to use the command sudo yum install in order to install our git in the local so it will install git so let's say yes so git is getting installed and once git is being installed we are going to take the code in our uh, on a path in our ec2 instance so let's see where we are currently and uh, let us create a new directory let's call this directory as project our projects we are going to keep all our projects in this particular directory so let's go inside this directory and fetch the uh, django project from our github repository okay so we are inside the projects folder and it is empty we are going to fetch the our code from our github repository so this is our github repository you need to click over here on the code button and you have to uh, copy this particular link and once you have copied the github link of this particular repository you need to go over here and you have to give the git command git clone git clone and link of the repository which we just copied so right click and then we'll paste it and we'll hit enter so we'll see that the project has been cloned in our local so we have got this repository in our local. Let's see if we have got the project or not. So we have got the project. Let's go inside the project. So now we are inside the project. Once we are inside the Django project, let's try running this particular project. And in order to run this particular project, we have to make sure that Django is installed on our local. So let's see what commands we need to run in order to install Django on our local. So I have given all the commands in this particular repository. You can go and use these commands. So the first command that we're using is sudo yum install python3 minus pip. So we want to install pip in order to install Django in our local. The next command will be pip install Django. So we are going to install Django. 
So it is installing Django in on our EC2 instance. This particular command pip install Django. And once our Django is being installed, we are going to run our application. So we are inside the folder where our application files are being kept. So let's run uh, this particular application by using the command python3 manage.py migrate. It is actually generate migrations and scripts. So once the migrations are being applied and it has generated the scripts, we are going to actually run this particular code. So for that, we are going to use python3 manage.py and server 0.0.0 colon. Let's run it on 8001 port number and hit enter. So this will actually uh, run our application and we have to take the IP of the public IP and we have to run this particular application. So you can see that uh, we are not able to access this particular port. The reason is we have to configure this port in our security group. So go to your instances and once you are in your instance, select the instance which we are running currently. And once you have selected the instance, go to the security and click on the security groups. Now we need to configure our security groups in order to use uh, that particular port which we have configured for running a Django application. So let's edit inbound rules. For that, let's click on uh, add rule. Once you click on add rule, it says port range. So let's say 8001 is the port that we want to be accessed from anywhere on the internet. So let's say 0.0.0. .0. So it says anywhere, we will save the rules. And once we save the rules, and so that means we have added uh, to our security group this inbound rule that it should allow access to our 8001 port. That is what we have done. Let's try refreshing it. So you can see that this particular link has been refreshed and we are able to see hello world. So that means our Django application is deployed on EC2 instance. So we have successfully deployed Django application on EC2 instance. So what we did, we got GitHub uh, repo link and we installed GitHub, uh, we installed Git on our EC2 instance. And once we installed Git on our EC2 instance, using git clone command, we got the repository link and we got cloned the repository into our local, into the EC2 instance. And once we are in that particular folder where our repository is being installed and where it has all the files, then what we did was we installed Django. Once we installed Django, we ran our program and configured it on this particular port. And since it was configured on 8001 port and that port was not allowed in our inbound rules of the security group, we went back to our instances, we went to the security group and we configured inbound rules for 8001 port. So that is what we have done till now. So this shows that we have successfully deployed our Django application. So that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed the video and we have successfully deployed our Django application on EC2 instance. We got the code from GitHub. And um, in our next video, we'll be looking into uh, Docker container and Dockerization of this particular Django application. So we'll be moving on into the next uh, phase of this particular uh, Dockerization part of this particular Django application. So stay tuned for the next part of this application. Uh, I hope you like the video. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.